Hey guys, Brian here. It's been a minute since we've done any shooting on the channel. Work's been crazy busy, plus I have a family life, so it makes it difficult sometimes. But we're going to get back at it. Last time we did a uh, body armor test, we did a pistol plate from Max Body Armor, linked right up here. So their pistol plate did extremely well. The anti spalling coating held up way better than I expected, so hopefully we get some good results out of the rifle plate as well. This plate is rated for M80 ball, 7.62x5, 147 grain at 2,780 feet per second. M855 steel core, 62, 62 grain at 3,100 feet per second. M193 55 grain at 3200 feet per second and 762 by 39 at 2380 feet per second. Additionally, we have some 30 out 6, 45 70, and 500 Smith and Wesson. But we're going to get Mario set up and get to it, guys. All right, guys, first up, XM193. See how it does. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, so this is an exit wound from a previous shoot. I believe my entry wound's right here. So let's pull this plate and check it out. That is it right there. So there's our point of entry. As you can see, bubbled up a little bit. On the back side, you can see a mild amount of deformation in the sticker, and I can feel a very, just ever so slight bump there, but it did stop the round. All right, the plate's back in. Let's go do the 855 steel core. All right, guys, we got our green tip here, 855. Let's see what happens. A little poof of smoke on that one. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, entry points right here. Let's check it out. Boop. Caught it. Okay. So, entry is right there, obviously. As you can see, there's our entry. Did quite a bit more damage than the 193. I've got some pieces of metal sticking out of the anti-spall coating. If we flip it over, there is zero deformation on the back. Hardly even a mess up on the sticker like we've had with the 193. So these pieces of metal are most likely the steel core that have busted up. All right, plates back in. Let's go do the 308. Up next is M80 Ball, and guys, right now, this was not easy to find and not cheap, but we do it for you guys. Let's go see how Mario did. All right, guys, entry's right here. Let's check it out. That did some damage, but it stopped the bullet. As you can see, it hit right there. A Little bit of swelling, not much. We flip it over, there's a mild amount of deformation in the back of the plate, but very little. Really, it's doing a good job. All right guys, next up, 762 by 39. 124 grain, let's get at it. Let's go see how Mario did. This was the last round rated on the plate and didn't do much at all. 762 by 39 went in and up here. On the back, mild deformation, a little bit of tearing of the sticker, but nothing. So we've got our XM193, 855, M80 ball, and our 762 by 39. Well, guys, the plate held up as expected. I mean, you saw the coating is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. And we hit it with four stout rounds. Well, you know we can't leave this plate in one piece. We've got to break it. So we've got a few big boys. If those don't break it, we're just going to unload on it with some uh, 855 or 193. And let's get set up. Okay, guys, I'm really torn on the next bullet because... A Spitzer point bullet is most likely to penetrate, so I got a 30 out 6, but I've got a feeling that the 4570 or the 500 Smith & Wesson, if one of these three is going to penetrate it, I feel like with the pistol plate, one of those two is just going to break the plate out of sheer force and mass because they're 4 and 500 grains. This one's 150 grains moving at 2700 feet per second, so we're going to give this one a shot and then we're going to step it up if this doesn't do it.
Looks like Mario took a pretty solid hit. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, 30 out six. Place your bets. We got no penetration. Hit square in the middle. Here's what she looks like on the front. Nice big bubble right in here. And we got a nice big bulge on the back. Probably sticking out uh, eighth to a quarter of an inch, maybe three sixteenths. So it stopped it. That's what this thing's meant to do. All right, next up we got the 4570. I got a couple of good rounds for it. Let's see how they do. Okay guys, next up's the 4570. Looks a little bit different than it has in previous videos. I've got the new Midwest Industries handguard that includes the full top rail on it. And I gotta say, I'm really loving the fit and finish of it. It feels great in the hand and I'm able to get a good grip on it. I got big hands. So check back for the video on that. I'm also using the chisel machining stock on here. They're working out really well together and I'll be doing a full review very soon. For the round we're using, this is a round that's not made anymore. It's made by Steinel Ammunition, and this is a 300 grain hollow point moving at 2,210 feet per second. People complained that it was kicking too much, so he quit making it. A bunch of pansies. I love this round. I've only got six left. This is one of those six. But you know, hey, it's the way it goes. I save it for moments like this. Let's see how it does. I don't expect it to penetrate it, but maybe break it from sheer force. Mario jumped a bit. Let's go check that out. How'd you like that muzzle flash? All right, guys, looks like Mario took quite a wallop with that one. Let's see just how bad it was on him. Oh yeah, that, uh, that did some damage. So here is our entry. As you can see, that is a, a substantial hole in the coating, but it did not come out anywhere. And if we look at the back, we have one heck of a mound, but you know what? It didn't penetrate. We just have some tearing of the sticker. You would survive that. Your insides might be jello, but uh, it did not penetrate. All right, next up, another 4570 round. This is the Solid Brass Extreme Penetrator by Underwood Ammo, 2350 feet per second. A little bit faster. That other round was close. This one might do it. That just about tipped Mario over. Let's go check it out. I think that one did some serious damage. Well, I'll be. So, entry right up here. We've had several of the rounds impact. It's still in there because it didn't come out here. That's one heck of a plate. That's taking some serious hits. And that coating is holding up extremely well. Well guys, that leaves us no choice. It's time for the 500 Smith & Wesson out of the Bighorn Armory Model 89. Let's get it. All right guys, 500 Smith & Wesson. I only have one of this round, so we're gonna use it first. This is Underwood Ammo, Extreme Penetrator or Extreme Hunter. It's the copper version, not brass. And it is 350 grains, moving at 1,850 feet per second. This is going to put the hurt on Mario, I do believe. So uh, let's find out. Let's go check it out. Holy smokes. Okay, so entry right there all right guys i had to adjust the coloring on the camera it was a bit bright out look at this mound where that is raised up i mean that is no joke but all these rounds have pretty much impacted in the center 500 smith hit right here and on the back we have some deformation but we do not have any break or penetration Next up, Steinle ammunition, 500 grain, 500 Smith & Wesson, 1,300 feet per second. She may be slow, but she's thick. She, uh, she's gonna put the herd on. Oh 
Oh yeah, Mario's dancing a bit. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, I apologize if you hear a dog barking. My neighbor has a hound dog that likes to bark at absolutely nothing. So, 500 grainer, how's she doing? Uh, didn't want to come out of the bag. Woo, buddy. That's uh, she's starting to get a bit swollen in this lower region here. Nice entry, no exit. Guys, this plate is still holding up. I have pummeled it with some serious rounds. We got one more. And if you notice, anti-spall coating has not broken anywhere on here. It's really doing a good job. Next up, we have a 440 grain solid lead bullet. All right, this is the last round I've got. 440 grain underwood ammo, lead flat nose, moving at 1,625 feet per second. Let's see how she does. If this doesn't do it, we're unloading on it with some 855. Whoo! Mario's definitely dancing after that. You can see this is getting bigger and bigger in the middle. We turn it around, we still have no penetration. There is a massive hump sticking out from the original curve, probably three quarters of an inch. Uh, it's hard to show you on camera just how big that hump is, but no penetration. This plate is stopping everything we throw at it and we're hitting you know, right in the middle here. So center of that plate, is it holding up extremely well? You can see right here we're getting out towards the edge with our bubble, but the anti spall coating is still holding on. The plate has met and exceeded all standards. Uh, next up, what do you say we throw 10 rounds of 855 at it without checking? We'll just dump 10 rounds and come see if that breaks it. Let's do it. All right, guys, 10 rounds of 855. Let's see how it does. Saw some fire. Let's go check that out. Okay, guys, 10 rounds, 855. It probably penetrated. I mean, it should have at least. Ooh, this plate's warm. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. There's our front, all tore up, and there's our back. Not a single penetration after all that, plus 10 rounds, 855. Uh, what do you say we go for 10 rounds of 193 now? Okay guys, 10 rounds of IMI M193. This has got to penetrate. This is insane. Okay, let's go check that out. Let's see how Mario did. Wow, this plate is getting warm, guys. Um, 
you ain't gonna believe this. Okay, you see just how big that swell is on the front. I mean, that is monstrous. Plate is very hot, and we don't have a single penetration anywhere on this plate. That is insane. And not to mention, the anti-spall coating has not failed anywhere on this plate. Oh, I'm sorry, it did. We finally had a failure on the bottom, it split. After how many rounds of ammo? That is wild. Well guys, my mind is blown. I mean, this plate did phenomenally well. We didn't have a breakout until the end, I believe, on the coating. The rest of it is all trapped in here. You can hear all that stuff rattling around. It's quite a bit heavier than it was. It's not straight anymore. It has a slight curve like a banana, but no penetrations. It stopped a ton of different rounds, stuff that I definitely didn't think it would stop. So what we're gonna do is a follow-up to this video. I'm gonna get some other ammo, and we are gonna see if we can break this plate with the common man's rounds, not something like a 338 or a, you know, a 50 BMG. You know, something that's within the grasp of everybody. And Maybe Max Body Armor will send out another one we can do some different testing with. I've got some ideas in mind, but first off, I want to see if we can break this plate. Really appreciate them sending this out for testing. I love doing this kind of stuff, and especially when a product holds up this well. It's awesome. And don't forget, TA Targets make some awesome little targets here. It does a great job, especially for holding plates, but regular range use as well. And uh, if you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up, guys. Really appreciate it. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Have a good one.